Within the Biomedical Sciences schools at the University of Bristol, we've been undertaking a project looking to decolonise and diversify the curriculum. This has involved working in partnership with students to review our taught material, as well as undertaking research to gauge understanding and attitudes of staff and students towards decolonising and diversifying the curriculum. Decolonising the curriculum is about acknowledging how the legacy of European colonialism shapes the landscape of our teaching and learning in universities. Some have argued that this is not relevant for biomedical science subjects because science is only concerned with objective facts. However, there are many examples of bias and inequity in how science has been done and who it benefits. In order for science to be relevant and inclusive, we need to look closely at what we teach, how we teach, and who and what is excluded from this. Looking closely at our taught material, our student partners found common themes that emerged from the courses they reviewed. These included bias towards scientists from the global north and white cis men being overrepresented in reading lists and references. Lack of diversity in images of people or language use that reinforced unhelpful stereotypes, including hero worshipping of white male scientists and patriarchal terms such as founding fathers. Bias towards white European ancestry in important biological data sets. Missed opportunities to discuss complex issues around scientists with problematic views or practices, for example based on racism or sexism or biopiracy, where medically important drugs have been capitalised from indigenous sources without crediting or benefiting those communities. Our surveys found that the majority of students and staff thought decolonising and diversifying the curriculum is important, but that female students generally felt it more important than male students. Students from minority ethnic groups felt significantly less represented by the science and scientists they learn about than white students. Analysis of data from focus groups allowed us to form a three R's framework that encompasses the three main themes raised by participants. Rediscovery, representation and readiness. The rediscovery theme is about discovering alternative narratives of the scientific knowledge, perhaps from marginalised groups, and being aware of the context of scientific discoveries. In the representation theme, we consider trying to get a more comprehensive understanding of the bias that can exist in scientific datasets. This is particularly important in the biomedical sciences, where we often rely on large datasets taken from predominantly white participants, excluding much of the genetic diversity of the human race. Representation is also important within university staff, where women, people of colour and people who identify as LGBTQ+, are often underrepresented, with few role models for students of different demographics. Finally, in the readiness theme, we recognise the need to prepare students to be agents of change, equipped with the knowledge to thrive and drive positive change in a global society. Our research shows that staff and students think it's important to decolonise the curriculum, but we need to engage students more in how to do this. We're starting to address this by listening to students, making changes to our teaching and adding workshops, allowing students to explore the issues in more depth. We hope that our three R's framework will help others in the biomedical sciences and beyond to start the process of decolonising and diversifying their own curricula, making science more accessible, fair and relevant to all and equipping our students to be ready to take on grand challenges with a global outlook.